Welcome back to the channel. Here we have your county line tank sprayer, 25 gallon tank. Came with a wand. Um, this is version 2.0 for me as far as a boom sprayer. Just want to show you how you can do this at home yourself. Do it yourself, 25 bucks or less. If you watched my other video, obviously the tank was mounted on top of the trailer uh, side bed or whatever it is. Um, I did that for a reason because I wanted to that was a temporary solution. Well, I backed off my other idea of mounting this tank to a basket uh, hitch basket that would go in the back of a Jeep or something like that. Um, it, it's just gonna, it's too time consuming. I don't have everything I need. It requires some, it requires some modification to the, the mower up there. So we're not doing that. I am gonna modify my mower a little bit. I'm gonna lower that hitch down a little bit so this is not setting at such an angle, such a steep angle. All right, watch my first video if you didn't, but this is just a basic recap. I made some changes. Obviously, I mounted the tank in the bed of the trailer with one strap near the front. I think that's all I'm going to need. I may put another strap on it. Uh, once again, I used half-inch PVC, I'm sorry, clear vinyl tubing that I noticed has a little kink in it right there. I'm going to have to shorten that tube up a little bit. That was for the other design. The change I made today, other than moving the tank, obviously, is I mounted the the uh, PVC pipe here to a piece of channel, aluminum channel I had from a toolbox or something with some self-tapping screws to this tailgate. This tailgate, this has a removable tailgate, the trailer does. And also changed out the nozzles. I had a 180 degree nozzle yesterday. I have 90 degree nozzles today. I believe this one leaks a little bit. I may have to swap it out. Um, I'm still debating on whether or not to put a third nozzle here in the center. It's going to take a little more engineering it won't be that difficult let me turn this thing on for you let you see what it's doing it's spraying out a lot of water that's all this is right now a lot of water my concern is if i put a third nozzle in there i'm gonna putting i will be putting down way too much chemical in a very short period, uh, amount of time sorry I'm trying to find my switch here right, let's let it, let it fill up pressurize as you can see let me back up here a little bit once again, it's probably hard to see on video, but I'm going to get as close as I can. See, it doesn't shoot out as far to the sides now, but it's more concentrated, which is what I want. Everything's lower to the ground, a little bit lower. I can even lower that boom, lower that if I need to, but I don't want to get it too low. So I'm going to go with this. Right now, this looks much cleaner, and it's hard to tell, but when I'm driving around... It leaves a little spot there in the center that doesn't get saturated like it does on the outside edges. I may, just for the hell of it, put a third nozzle in the middle and see how that does and keep an eye on uh, how much water it's shooting out. And we'll go with that. Let me know what you think. Homemade Boom Sprayer 2.0.